was wondering if you could share with us the story about you know how COVID-19 initially impacted your business and kind of the thought process or the steps involved afterwards um, that you took to make the transition to to making masks right now. Okay. Yeah, when um, when we first got word that we were going to have to close, um, I met with my team, very small team, mm -hmm. and um, I really actually had was kind of optimistic. Like I didn't know how long we'd be closed down for, really what was going on, but I kind of said mm -hmm. that I feel like we can. I feel like we can survive this and come out on top. We are small. Um, as long as we stay, you know, flexible and open-minded, mm -hmm. I think we have the ability to kind of mm -hmm. pivot and do, we're not locked into things. We're not, because we don't wholesale from, mm -hmm. you know, don't manufacture at a factory in China mm -hmm. or get our fabrics from China. Um, we have, you know, stocks of fabric in-house. In mm -hmm. We sew ourselves, we design ourselves. And so I was really mm -hmm. like, I don't know what's going to happen, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of businesses like us that rely on store other stores to purchase their wares and rely on factories to make their stuff and rely on other countries mm -hmm. that um, are going to have trouble that we don't have. And I feel like we, we could come out on top after all of this. Mm -hmm. And so we left there just kind of like, okay, we'll take some, you know, we'll, you know, kind of work from home, do a little computer work. And the first week I kind of spent, I treated almost like a little vacation, actually. I was, <laughs> you know, home all day watching the news on loop. <laughs> And um, a, someone had sent me a text that, that was a post from a hospital system in, I think it was Evansville, Indiana, I believe. And it was kind of like calling all home sewers. Mm -hmm. We need masks, um, cotton masks. Here's a, you know, here's a pattern. This is what we need. Mm -hmm. um, and so I was like, oh, that's interesting. Um, it was be, It was kind of before the whole mask shortage went like super, you know, super mm -hmm. yeah. well known. And, um, and so I was like, oh, you know what, this is something that we could do. And I have, you know, employees that are sitting home, probably watching the news that I'm paying them to sit there at home and watch the news. Mm -hmm. Like this is a way that we could contribute. I could keep them busy and, you know, it'd be good for mm -hmm. us and good for the community. 